this is weird. Starting the stream and recording all at the same time. What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. Favorite day of the week, as always, the Red Inform Player Pick Pack Day of the Week. Now, I have been approached by a lot of people asking me if I wanted to open their Top 100 rewards, their Elite 1 rewards and stuff like that. And I do want to do that because I think you guys enjoy that for content. I was thinking... Instead of making separate videos, although making separate videos would be the monetarily more intelligent way of doing things, I was thinking of actually including uh, those types of packs for other, like for viewers of mine, top 100 players that, that watch my content, that want me to open their stuff, to include it somehow in the Poor Man Road to Glory episode. So I'm not going to do it today, but I would love to hear your guys' feedback and then Twitch obviously guys i'll talk to you guys afterwards because that is definitely something i wanted to discuss with you dudes in terms of how we included opening other people's red informs and top 100 rewards and stuff like that of course i don't want to use it as clickbait to make people think we're getting stuff good on the poor man road to glory so even if i were to include it in a poor man road to glory recording i would want to make it very visible that it was other people's rewards that we were opening um through playstation uh ps4 share and stuff like that so either way um, I do want to hear your guys' feedback in that regards. In terms of today's episode, though, as promised last epi, we balled out, dude. So, for today, we have a FUD draft win. That squad that you guys watched me put together, we absolutely crushed the competition with it, man. This team was unfair. And, yes, I was joking a little bit, you know, taking the piss out of Pele and, and, and the messy controversy between the two of them and stuff like that. But, honestly... A strike combo of Pele and Messi, and then Neymar, and then the 87 uh, OTW Mares in behind was unfair. And happy to report to you guys that this guy was actually the most impressive of the DMs right here. Mascherano was insane. The 90 pace, the already good defending mixed with his insane physical was just nuts man and then because he has a basic chem style he actually got even more boosted in terms of his defensive stats and the pace stat that was lacking so 89 sprint speed 95 acceleration uh 86 standing tackle 82 marking 86 interceptions really good card i have no idea how the hell you guys would fit this dude in a team but it just goes to show as much as people want to pretend that pace isn't a thing it goes to show how good pace is because this guy was a menace to everyone. Why? Because he just ran all over the field like a psychomaniac, knocking people over, dude. And it goes to show why I think you need to relook the defensive stats on players. Because very similarly, if someone defends with a Neymar or a Messi or whatever, they just run around the field like psychomaniacs and, to, and tackle you and knock you over with like attacking-minded tiny players. So I, I think the coding is very wrong in terms of like physicality and tackling and stuff like that because you can have you can do what i was doing with mascherano with like neymar and leo messi as well it's absolutely asinine yet something else in ea's coding that probably should be looked at having said that though on paper this looked like one of the best um drafts i was ever able to build and performance wise on the field this was absolutely one of the best drafts i was able uh to use absolutely fantastic i can't remember what the score lines were two nothing four two six two six three in the final i did leak a few goals but that's because i'm dog shit at defending so first things first for today's episode of course we've got the red player picks that are the main part of the episode um we're gonna claim this draft right now and hopefully get something that isn't 25k packs what in the fuck is that holy shit dude i saw the mega pack and i was like oh my god that's actually really good is that a mega pack and a 100k pack what the hell is that that might be the best reward I've ever gotten. Dude! Hell of a way to start the episode today. So as you guys know, we are planning for the team of the year. We are storing packs for the buildup of team of the year. Team of the year starts this upcoming Monday. Now, I believe EA will be releasing the attackers first, then the midfielders, then the defenders, then the full team on the Saturday, the next like Saturday, a week and a bit from now. Or they'll do the defenders, midfielders, and attackers and then the full team on the weekend. So we have about a week and a half to build up our packs. And wow, what a hell of a way to get a reward from it. My God, I can't tell you how many guy, how many times I've won the draft and gotten those stupid 25K packs and the two 5K packs. So what a pleasant surprise that is. So let's claim that. So as of right now, we've got a jumbo pack, 25K pack, a 100K pack, a mega pack, 
a Prime Mix player pack and then a bunch of Team of the Week packs and stuff like that as well, which I'm going to wait and hold on to until we get a good Team of the Week. I, I don't think we need to rush with these specific packs. So moving on, we've got a few items to claim. Oh, I can't claim the items until we claim our Fut Champ reward. So let's do that. I also am continuing to cash out my trade pile. I told you guys that one thing I want to do is just continue to cash things out. Now I'm cashing out squad fitnesses still. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is, uh, contracts and attribute cards and, and consume and all the other types of consumables that we have in the club. I was talking to, or listening to net talk about it as well on his stream. And it, it's, it's very inspiring to see other people grinding the hell out of this game and trying to rinse out their clubs as much as possible in preparation for team of the year, because it inspires me to do that. So, um, we continue playing games with this squad. I, I, anybody that tells you that team doesn't matter is lying to you. Okay. Because the second I picked up the five-star weak footed, of course, young min son and the five-star weak footed, more importantly, Kevin Abrina. It's opened up an entire world. We're back up to, now obviously I, I've got to claim my rewards, but we're back up to one win away from getting into Division 2. Just casually playing Division Rivals like, like, like it was nothing. Obviously you guys see the performances in um, in Champs. It, it, it's, it's outrageous how good a high-end card plays in this game versus uh, another card that, that isn't anywhere near as good as it. Dude, like this is my central camp. In 29 games of rivals, a few rivals, mostly champs, 52 goals and 38 assists. He just shred it. it. Kevin O'Brien feels like a prime icon is what I would say. And maybe you'd look at those stats and say, well, obviously, dude. But you know how icons like Jean-Franco Zola, I think to a lot of people doesn't look that impressive. But Jean-Franco Zola, I mean, okay, no, his card looks incredible. Jean-Franco Zola plays like a 99 rated card. And icons have this like hidden, these, these hidden stats. Um or feel like they have hidden stats and i absolutely feel like um kevin abrina is the exact same thing did nep take shots on stream what did he do what did nep say oh no he didn't say anything what what did nep do i didn't see it wait did he get timed out nep is so toxic why what did he say what did nep say Open them now. Oh, is Nep trying to is Nep trying to cause pandemonium in my channel by telling people to tell me to open the pack? Yeah, good one, Nep. Wait, in a tweet? What? Sick and tired of these YouTubers and their red list luck for F sakes. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. That's legit. Also, it's because I'm wearing your shirt, Papi Chulo. Team Sweat, baby. Yeah, that's legit. All right, fine, fine, dude, fine, man. Fine, bro. Get mad at me for my luck. Our Twitter, you batch. I thought he was taking shots in the Twitch chat, man. That completely derailed my brain. Where, what were we even talking about there? Okay, we're talking about the squad. So, I mean, long story short, a team means everything. And I absolutely love this squad. There's one position that's missing. And very soon, I want to improve that position, which is the spot where Fernandinho is. Now, Fernandinho is actually a pretty good card. He plays well. But ever since I took out a certain icon, I'm really noticing a lack of um defensive quality in my in my midfield so we will be getting that icon very very soon so having said that we've got league sbcs to fully complete we've got um division rivals and fut champ rewards now of course as you guys know uh the packs will not be opened although any type of silver or not great packs like a uh a 5k pack and stuff like that i will open it's like the the semi-decent packs and, and and onwards i want to say for team of the year red player pick packs we absolutely will open so i think the first thing i want to do it, do i want to do the, the the red player pick packs right away or do i want to wait until the end of the epi make you guys wait until the end of the epi we also have i forgot to even check out we also have marquee matchups right being that it's 6 p.m. now. So these are the three that we're going to complete today. I can't wait to, to sit there with you guys and decide which players we're going to pick. I already have it in my mind which ones I want to go with per each league. But I'll let you I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys have a discussion and see if you can change. Oh, I kind of spoiled it, didn't I? Again, just like I did last episode. Um, Are the marquee matchups trash bags? Prime gold player pack. Yo, that's actually, look at, that's, the, I was about to say legit and looks good all at the same time. Yo, prime player pack is good. What are people moaning about? Jumbo gold pack. Okay, that's kind of dog shit. Gold player pack.
pack. That is a one in a one rare pack. That's pretty bad. Two rare gold pack. Are EA serious? And then a small prime silver pack. Oh, that's annoying. Because I'm finishing um I'm finishing Liga Nos right now, right? So I don't know if I want to give up. Dude, hilarious. You just need a Portuguese player anyways. Unreal. EA doing, as always, everything they can to make sure bronze pack method users can't make money. Last year, this would have been, obviously, a Maritimo or Portimonense or whatever the hell it's called. A specific player that you needed, which would have caused silvers and bronzes of these teams to go up. EA have then taken them out of the game. Uh, or out of requirements. And same thing here with Adelaide and uh, Melbourne Victory. You just need an one A-League player instead of a specific Victory or Adelaide. They're so obvious with what they try to do with like any way where you can make coins that isn't from buying FIFA points and opening packs, EA do everything they can to take away um, the the coin making opportunity. Either way, I will complete these. Absolutely will complete these. We'll do, we'll do these uh, this episode today. So should we do the red picks now? Yeah, let's do, let's do the red picks now. Let's do the red player picks now. Where, come on, I'm losing my damn mind. Okay, here we go. So again, gold three, casually playing the gold three. I'm not taking champs too seriously right now. Um, uh, what, it, what does that say? What champs weekend league? Does that say gold two? I play, I promise you we got 14 wins and I, it's a glitch. Oh, yeah, you're trolling. And you thought EA doesn't give us anything for Christmas. <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh god, wrong scene, dude. Five coins? Five coins. Dude, you guys were mad you got nothing for New Year's Eve. Nothing for New Year's Day for the new year. Nothing for Christmas Eve. Nothing for Christmas Day. I fucking got five coins. Suck yourself. What is this? What, what the hell is this, dude? Why did I get five coins? Does anybody have any idea why I just got five coins there? Is there any reasoning to that? I got one coin. Nice, dude. What? I don't... What? It's a glitch? Oh, yo. It's probably a glitch for monthly rewards. Oh, dude. Imagine midway through the year EA bring in monthly rewards. Oh, yo, that might be a sneak peek at what they could do in, in, uh, you know, in, an, in another couple of months, potentially. Cause you're an alpha. They had to give you five more. No way. <laughs> I hate you guys, man. I never realized I said no way and let's go. And then ran away from the screen until we released our best pack pulls of 2018. And it was literally 25 minutes of me screaming, no way, or me screaming, let's go. And then running away from the screen. I didn't realize that dude. I just do what comes naturally to me, man. And I feel like I need to get up and jump around when I get something good. You know, get that old body working and moving a little bit. Anyways, now you guys made me self-conscious about that, man. Just like when I play Fortnite and, and, and my viewers tell me I make the weirdest faces ever. Now, I sit there while playing Fortnite trying not to move my face. So I just sit there like... They're like all... Like I'm trying to hold in a shit. Anyways. You guys make me way too self-conscious. All right. No pissing around here. I'm going to get cums right on my face and... Who else am I going to get? Herrera. That's what I'm saying. Now, if I get an Eden Hazard, I will give away 500 bucks. Fuck it. Fuck it. I will give away 500 bucks. Unfortunately, YouTube, I'm going to do it specifically for my Twitch channel. So you will have, as of this being uploaded, like 12 hours to get over to my Twitch channel to participate. Okay? You're going to have to be a sub to my Twitch channel. So I'm like, hey, but that's what we're doing for you. Because I've done so many effing giveaways for YouTube specifically. My Twitch chat's been crying about it. Baby raging all over the place. All right? 500 bucks if we get that red hazard. I don't know where I'm going to put that red hazard in my team. I have no idea. But 500 bucks via PayPal will do... You know what? Maybe this time I'll do 
two separate PayPal's. Instead of splitting into five for five subs, we'll do two big giveaways, two $250 PayPal giveaways. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! You guys can't, anyways, I just ripped out my headphones from excitement. What the fuck do I do with that? I already have the 86 rated. Oh my God, of course I got this card, dude. Are you kidding me? 87 rated Felipe Anderson, dude. What, what do heck? What do I even do with that? I do I should I go with Walker Peters? Because I already have the 86? Hey batch. Fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch, N28 love. He's a kid with the golden feet. What the fuck? V4, that's aggressive. That's toxic, man. Is he any better than my 86? Bro, that card is nuts. I, I, I'm not a fan of the 86 rated card, dude. I'm not a fan of the 86 rated card. Obviously, I'm joking, you puta madres. Of course, I'm going to get this 87 rated card. By the way, I finished watching uh, Narcos Mexico last night. Bro. Narcos, the Colombian one with Pablo Escobar and the character that played Pablo Escobar, might be one of my favorite TV shows in a long time. Incredible. I actually think Narcos Mexico is potentially even better. Oh, is it ever good, man. They're introducing El Chapo. I think next season we start to get a more prominent look at El Chapo and how he came into power. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic, fantastic series. Highly recommended for you guys, man. Highly, highly recommended. Season three of Narcos was perfect. Uh, well, there's one, there's two seasons of Narcos for Colombia and then they released Narcos Mexico, which isn't tied to it in any way, shape or form, as far as I know, right? Because they reintroduced Pablo Escobar in, in Narcos Mexico as well. No, it's it's a standalone. Fun rewards featuring Narcos talk. Dude, it's such a good show, man. Holy god, guys, I have to I'm gonna have to shout out these resubs um uh afterwards, dudes. Thank you so much, man. My god. Okay, well, hell of a pull that is. Felipe Anderson, alrighty. Don't mind if I do. Wow. Why are you talking about Narcos? I can't remember why exactly I started talking about Narcos Mexico. Oh, because I called you guys puta madres. You know, it's an easy little segue, isn't it? Oh, shit. Hey, man. All right, one player pick pack left. Woo! Hey, that was good, man. Oh my God, bro. This is why Gold 3 is, is OP. This is exactly why Gold 3 is OP. You, you play the game, you enjoy the game, you chill the F out. You don't even concern yourself. Jesus Lord! What are these subs, man? Ben, thank you for the 15. Tiki, thank you for the 8. Hey, Batch. Get Bowen for his goals against Leeds Kappa. He's a kid with the golden feet. I should ban you for that, and I should have picked him and discarded him for that. Hey, Batch. That was when you said fuck you bitch at the start of the stream about you working out. Unfortunately you paused the alerts just in time. Wrong timing N28 chins. Thank you before, appreciate you. Snell though, thank you for the five. V Mitch, thank you for the 500 bits. Narcos Colombia's three seasons. Hey Batch. No oh, okay, my bad. Then Narcos Mexico is, is a fourth button, a new one. Kappa. If you pick Bowen, he'll sign for Leeds tomorrow. Amen. You shut your mouth, Lynx. Thank you for the 500. Stealth Boy, and then Patrick, thank you for the 11. Okay, are we done? Can I pick this card now? Can I pick it? Come on. There's no way I get two good pulls, right? There's just no way. There's no way I get two good pulls. Come on. Santa Maria, Costanza, Iniesta, Bomboniera, Eden Hazard. 500 bucks. Okay, that's more like it. Oh, shit. Okay. It's, it's it's not great pulls. You can't expect great pulls out of that. However, that Bowley card actually looks pretty good. Deserved. Yeah, I would say this is deserved. I would say this is deserved. Now, under being a young talent, this would be pretty exciting to pick up. However, I gotta go Bowley, dude. 
I gotta go, but that actually looks like an all right card. Four star weak foot, medium, medium, six foot high, six foot five. You give him an engine chem style and he's like legit good. Oh God, 59 stamina. When the hell am I ever gonna use this guy? 59 stamina, bro? Oh my god, 54 stamina. Under, what are you looking like? Is he 4 star, 4 star, 4 star, 3 star? Bully. I I'm gonna go Bully, man. Honestly, I think if I put together a French squad, I don't believe I have a better French center back than him. Do I? This guy, he has 80 composure and 77 reactions. I wonder if an engine is genuinely the right the right pick. 75 marking is god awful though. Guardian could be good. Pace is whatever. He's not gonna have good pace anyways. Guardian could be oh my god, he's got 63 jumping. I guess again because he's tall. Anyways, let's go bully. Hey, I'll take an 87 rated Felipe Anderson. That is unbelievable red inform pack luck for this week, dude. Casually played Flood Champs and continuously get my best rewards. Whenever I try hard, get gold one, bottle elite three, I get the shittest rewards. Whenever I just piss around, have fun, smack up botches with uh, Kevin DeBrina and stop at 14 wins with not a stress in the world and I get my best rewards. Play with my, uh, my Dutch team, have fun, best rewards. Unreal, man. Absolutely unreal. I, I don't think until I have a full meta squad, I'm ever gonna play past gold three anymore. I just don't I, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth the stress I'd rather play foot champs to try and enjoy it until I have a good squad trust me I do want to compete in foot champs I think of, at the very least a goal of mine should be this year to try and get elite three I, I think I will have fa failed the poor man road to glory if I don't get elite three at least once this year I, I, I genuinely think I have the caliber to get there I, I just think I let myself down mentally and I don't think I have the, the, the squad quite yet to compete with it um, or with the top, top, top teams. I, I'm not good enough with the current team I have. Put it that way. I, I would need the better players to help carry me a little bit. Um, but I will not not do that if that makes any that made no sense actually but you guys know what i mean like that that's going to be one of the goals for this year i just think after team of the year after we come back from vacation right at the um at the end of january february uh, i'm taking the family on vacation after the busy christmas period and the team of the year period uh we're gonna go away on vacation to hawaii uh god i love that place and then when we come back then i'm gonna start the grind again and we're gonna start working and and trying to play all 30 games of champs so without further ado the red player picks were absolutely fantastic. Um, let's start completing through these SBCs because of course, we're gonna be able to add these guys to the team and maybe, maybe do a weekend league squad builder with some of these guys. So what do you think? I don't think I'll use Bowley in the weekend league, but maybe we try and do a hybrid squad builder around um, Felipe Anderson. What about like a Felipe Anderson and Scriniar, uh, Scriniar hybrid? Hey, Could man. try out as well. I don't know if I'd be able to fit him into a team. Dude, I wanted to get that Herrera, but that Salvio looks good. Now I'm gonna go Herrera. It's harder for midfielders to get special cards anyway, so I think it's gonna make sense to go with that Herrera. What about like a Herrera, Scriniar, Felipe Anderson hybrid of sorts. That could be pretty sweet for for this weekend league. I think that could be um that could be pretty fun. All right, so let's get now. I'm not going to make you guys sit through me humming and hawing about all of this. We did this all live on stream, and and I finished up um late at night just bidding on some of the players I needed. So these like th these were all dirt cheap. Even if you don't have the players, most of these players players from your pack pulled other than the gold ones and even the silvers that I had to buy, you get on bid for like 250 coins to 800 coins max um for the expensive ones. Hey, so just get them on bid. Very easy to do. Uh so I'm not going to sit there and show you what I paid hey, for every single player. I mean, if you want to see that type of stuff, wow, someone anonymously hey, gifted five subs to the channel. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. I links Mikey. I'm gonna have to shout you guys out properly um, after this epi recording, man. I I've missed so so much. Hey, Amen. So much. So CD Ferenci again, very very cheap to do. In fact, we've got an extra botch here. How much are you, sir? 
See what I mean? This is during peak hours. And these guys are probably going to win these cards for four or 500 coins. I just can't do it on stream, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Who did I get? Oh, one of the best informs you can get this week. Unbelievably. One of the best informs you can get. I just... Oh, small rare silver players pack. Wait, did I just... Did I just get that? We can open that right now. Yeah, the silver packs we can open. I don't know where that came from. All right, so this one, uh, CD Tondela. Again, super, super cheap to do. Premium mixed player pack. Now, I want to look at that pack, actually. Premium mixed player pack. What is the... Small rare silver player pack. Okay, we'll open that one. Premium mixed player pack. Where is it? Premium mixed player pack. So, nothing but players to build. Da, 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 da. Three. So, this is awful. This is basically a hey, B Tech uh, 25K player pack. Johnny gifting a sub as well. Thank you, Johnny. First time ever gifting a sub on this channel. Much love, dude. Appreciate it. But again, what I always say to, to those of you guys that are Nick, like, okay, it's cool that you're doing all these packs, whatever, but you're not going to get anything. Why even waste your time? Why not just open these packs right away? Now, most of the time, I agree, but Team of the Year is like, I'm going to open this. Team of the Year is such a huge time of year. It's such a hypey time of year. Why not open one? At, like, oh, uh, save at least two weeks worth of, of grinding for packs for Team of the Year to make Team of the Year super exciting and, and, and fun. You know, okay, I might not pack a Team of the Year card, but it's just gonna make it super enjoyable, and who knows? You never know. If your pack luck is in, your pack luck is in. So even that premium mixed player pack that I talked shit about, who knows, maybe in that pack I actually do end up getting something pretty decent. Like, look at that, man, for the for the Australian League, or sorry, for the J League, lol. Guys, not, not from the Australian League at all. But I already have this guy. Uh, used my loan Keen and went back to Fabian ever since I've been taking L's. Dude, that's exactly what I've been experiencing with the Keen, man. Like, um, any any other player just does not stack up. Uh, you notice how relatively average Fabinho is nowadays. Because Fabinho was very meta at the start of the game. Let's not get it twisted. He's a very, very meta card. But from the beginning of the game till now, people's teams have gotten better tenfold, twentyfold, thirtyfold. So... Fabi's weaknesses and shortcomings really start being uh, apparent nowadays against good teams. Dude, his weak foot is horrifying. His passing range is pretty horrifying as well. He's pretty damn clunky on the ball. Um, and then bringing in someone like Keen and, and Keen's abilities, you really notice how lackluster um, Fabinho is. All right, Porto. Did Porto cut? No, Porto. Okay, so a lot of you guys might turn your head at this and be like, well, what the hell are you doing? Honestly, man, I've got a, a trillion of these cards in, in my club. Might as well use them. It saves me, you know, a couple a couple thousand coins on this SBC. I'm just going to get it done, man. I don't really care. Put it that way. If those players go up to a few thousand coins, oh well. I'll open 10 bronze packs and make the coins back anyhow. Don't like Rivaldo. Should I get a 100k pack for him and use my Red Mares? Um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't rinse a Rivaldo until you absolutely know there's a player that you want, right? That's uh, that's my recommendation. Small Prime Electra player pack. FC Porto. What skills is team? What skills is team again? It's uh, it's Benfica, right? Okay, GD Chavez. I, I hope I'm saying these names properly. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm really good at pronunciating or enunciating all the things moren ren ren says see perfect um you worth anything sir Woohoo! let's go you love to see it benfica worst portuguese team hey man what do you mean why you gotta take shots i hate how it takes you to the store every single mother effing time it's so idiotic Let's go! I hate you guys. Electrum player pack. All right. Part of me wishes I could open these. Look at these. Small gold player pack with one rare. Again, there might be a team of the year Messi in there, dudes. And if team of the year Messi doesn't get voted in by the community, I'm going to go to everybody's house and flick them in the testicle. You guys don't vote in Leo Messi. Uh, I'm I'm not nut flicking every single one of you guys. I'm going to find I'm going to find where you live. I'm gonna talk to the guys at EA, find out where everybody lives that didn't vote for Messi, and I'm gonna nutsack flick them. And the YouTubers 
that didn't vote for Leo Messi, the next time in Ger I'm in Germany, I'm going to nutsack flick them. 100%. 100%. Start making a list. I guarantee you Zway didn't vote for Messi. He probably voted for Salah and... Like, is, is, is Giroud or something idiotic in contention or something like that? Some other, you know, random ass, random ass player. Zway voted for Podolski. See, there you go. Spen, thank you for the 22. Reedy, thank you for the 13. Appreciate you, man. Sorry that I couldn't read through all those resubs, dudes. I'll have to do it uh, at the end. I know you're probably pissed that I didn't call it out. I didn't vote for Messi. Boring. It's not really the point, though, is it? What did you What? Oh my god. This is why we can't have nice things, dudes. I didn't vote. Okay, I had to buy every single one of these players. So this team cost me like 10k. Which is kind of shit. 10k? Is it 10k? Is that even accurate? Well, no, not 10k. Like 8k. 7, 7, 8k. 8k. Nep didn't vote for Messi. Oh, he's getting a testicle. He's getting a nut shot. He's getting a nut shot. Did I open my reds? Oh, did you miss it? Unlucky, bro. Unlucky, dude. If you're watching video, you can just rewind it. Try rewinding, dude. Try rewinding the live stream. Premium gold players pack. Okay, so 25k player pack. Salvio's gone again. Adios. Adios, senor Salvio. Nep said Messi doesn't need a team of the year. I mean, he's not wrong, but... Look, I understand that a lot of people make the argument that they vote in their team of the year votes are who they want. And they'll be, at least they'll be honest about it. I'm assuming Nep is just being honest, at least about him just voting in people he wants to get a team of the year card, you know, a strong card in FUT. Uh, I, I saw Itani, you know, um, backing up his reasonings for just picking the players he wants to have good FUT cards. I get it. For sure. I get it. For me, I like to do a mix of the two, right? I I'm also biasly picking some players. Like, I'm, I'm you know, I'm biasly picking Marcelo because I think he'd be an incredible fuck card. Van Dyke, same thing. Um, you know, Mbappe for many reasons, but De Bruyne, Conte, like, sure, I think those guys deserve to be in it as well, but there's a bit of bias there in me wanting those cards to be nice, nice fuck cards. Frazier, thank you for the two years. Happy two years, bro. Small, rare gold player pack. This is a good pack, man. Love these, uh, love those packs. Well, there you go. We're up to 28 packs already, dudes. This is going to be, I hope, I hope it's as good as last year's Road to Glory Team of the Year pack opening. And last year, we only opened, I think, like 150 or 200. I wonder if there's anybody that's able to go back to the week of Team of the Year pack openings we did on the Poor Man Road to Glory. What did I start with? Oh my God, my heart, dude. I was like, what the hell is this? So there we go. We got a player pick pack to choose from. What do you guys think we should do? Liganos SBC. What are we saying? What are we saying? Do I get to look at their in games now? Oh, yo. I, I mean, I've never even bothered looking at these guys' in games. Okay, four star, four star, high, high. Salvio's 82 rated card. It was actually pretty good. Every, I, I feel like you guys would want me to go with Salvio. But for me, selfishly, I'd rather go with Herrera. He gets into a Mexican national team that I know I'm going to build at some point. I've got Chucky Lozano pack pulled. I've got Chicharito's flashback card. Um, I've got a lot, a lot of good cards. I think a Mexican national team would just be good. Be good to use. Uh, Miguel Layun, solid, solid card. So as, as all right as this Salvio card looks, I just think this Herrera is, is such a nicely well-balanced card. You know, marking, standing tackle, interceptions are amazing. Slide tackle's horrible. I don't really care. Heading's horrible. Don't care. Jumping's... He's got 99 stamina, for God's sakes. High, high, and a four-star weak foot. Bro, I, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, would you give him an anchor or would you give him, a, you know, an engine to boost that agility and balance? I think I would just give him an anchor, man. Seems like he'd be a really good outright... Hmm... Yeah, that's actually that's actually an odd one. That is an odd one.
Engine would be really good, man. Engine would take him up to 79 agility and like 78 balance. That would actually be solid. Yeah, I think you guys are right. I think you guys are right. Engine's the play. All right, I'm going to go with Herrera. He looks absolutely fantastic. Does he walk out? No, man. You guys don't even owe me a thousand likes. Although I guess that Anderson, I think that's worthy of a thousand likes on this epi. Cool. So we got Herrera. Let's get it. Okay, so Liga Nos, we can unfavorite now. Uh, Seri R. Well, let's do the A-League first. Let's do the A-League first. A-League is, uh, A-League is nice and quick. We'll get that one done. This is legitimately the A-League is all pack hold players. In fact, I've got, like, duplicates in pretty much every single squad. And do, do the silvers still go to the front? Or is there a glitch where some of them start going to the back? I remember in previous years, the stupid silver upgrade packs go to the back of the store. Uh, so I, I end up not even opening them. Because I remember we we got one pack complete. See what I mean with these guys? We got one pack completed and it put the silver in the front. So I'm hoping they fix that for this year. You can go through the League of Nos and do teams that give good packs for team of the year. Um, I mean, I literally just did that. I genuinely just did that. Oh! A-League players for marquee matchups. Yo, okay, don't let me sell these players yet. Don't let me sell these players. No, I need to do the marquee matchups as well. I shouldn't be selling these guys. It's repeatable. Oh, no, I realize that. I realize it's repeatable. I don't know if I want to... I, I, as you can see, I'm rinsing my entire club doing these, right? I, I'm not going to do them all over again uh, as well and have to buy all the silvers. Like, these are all first owner, untradeable. Like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it all over again premium gold pack so that's why that's just a straight up 7.5k pack nothing too special about that jets people so dead right now marquee matchups in like a week it's dead af i mean the fun swaps are pretty sweet uh, i i was happy with that i do think it's all perspective man i think it's how you guys look at it i i definitely understand that a lot of you think it's dead um I, I, with team of the year building and team of the year coming up very soon it's up to ea to really make it pop and i'm gonna be so disappointed if they do and i know i talked about this last episode so i don't want to go into it in, into like great great detail but i'm gonna be so disappointed if all they do for team of the year is what they've done in previous years which is just the 11 players in packs or even more boring the first two days three attackers the next two days three midfielders the next day the five defenders, and then the final two days, the full team. And they do that so that the first day, you blow all of your packs, all of your FIFA points, and then once they release the full team, or maybe they release the defenders where there's one player you want, you're more and more tempted to dip into FIFA points, right? That's that's why they split it up. That's why they've done it like that year on year. Obviously, I'm sure most of you guys are knowledgeable to that little sneaky move from EA Sports. Um, but I really hope they don't just do that, man. Like, they, I, I hope they do something themed with... with with weekly objective i i hope they do something themed with sbcs but like proper themed sbcs like a community voted in 12th player via sbc that you can unlock via sbcs or something along those lines man like i know i've said like 150,000 times this episode but for lack of a better word think of the amount of people that aren't knowledgeable though uh aren't knowledgeable about what though i may have i may have missed something there so absolutely my apologies oh you mean about like what ea are doing in terms of uh okay, I see okay. so the hyundai a league done all sorts of finish this one's kind of dead in terms of this pack like both players are pretty dog shit no no offense to oriole or Rayera. like what an utterly useless card ea this is another example of them just being lazy or not giving a fuck about the community. Like, if you give us this card, why not make them 85? Why not? It'll just make the SBCs more expensive to complete. It'll achieve even more what you want, rinsing more coins off the market. Why not make them 85? 75 pace, like 89 shooting. Something semi-usable. What in the fuck is this pile of shit card? No offense again to this specific player. I just mean in general in terms of fun. And honestly, the same thing for Honda. Why not make them like 87 rated? You know, maybe change this specific card to medium low work rates. Give them a four star weak foot, you know? 
87 rated, like, like, I'm not even asking for crazy things. 86 pace, attack positioning and finishing, maybe just in the 80s, you know, stamina up to like 85, like, do something fun. Like, this is just shit. It's just absolute shit. It, and it's not like this is super cheap to do. And even if it is super cheap, the packs are dog shit anyway. So they're just so obvious with what they do, man. Again, yet something else where the community used to enjoy, but took away from be people buying FIFA points. So they, they nerf it. They neuter this, this the league SBCs, right? Year on year. Anyways, I'm going to go with, with Honda. I've got a couple of pretty good Japanese players in the squad now. So whether or not I do a full Japanese team, I don't know. But maybe at some point... We'll test this card out as a, uh, I don't know, man. I did like Aryan Robin and Aryan Robin had an even worse weak foot. Medium high work rates is absolutely hilarious though. Like giving him a sniper would still make him semi useful. Uh, Pete, the electrician. Thank you for the uh, hundred bits flashback tomorrow. Fingers crossed, man. That would be amazing. If we got a flashback tomorrow, flashback Aryan Robin. Would be fantastic. Okay, so now we've got the Serie A to finish up, which is one I'm excited about. I do think Scrini R is a, is a decently fun card to have. Did I forget to do this? Hey, man. No! I didn't forget to do this whole goddamn... Wait, what? I'm so confused. Did I just forget the first two teams? Oh, we said we want... No, I remember. We wanted to wait because I was completing this on stream yesterday and Atalanta and Bologna were part of the marquee matchups for uh, last week. So the players were like artificially expensive. That's why. That's why. Because of marquee matchups. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 do, I'll do those ones. I'll do those ones uh, pretty quick. Let me sell on this man's. No. Dude, I thought I thought I forgot to do the full Serie A, and I stayed up so late last night completing uh, these SBCs. <clears throat> yeah, I, I forgot, man. You know what? There's a billion things on my mind right now. Not, you know, that's that's not the the priority on my brain. Emboli. I don't think the goalkeeper is worth too much. Still worth something though. Skriniar is honestly a god. Yeah, I'm excited to use him. I mean, I'm sad that I'm not going to be using Virgil van Dijk this weekend because I love van Dijk, but I am excited to use Skriniar. I might not even use Rio. I, I might use uh, something completely different. Maybe bring back the donkey that is Chiellini, see if I can use him better nowadays. Waiting for EA to screw up the voting and give David De Gea team of the year again. Wouldn't put it past them. Uh, Pomper Roni, thank you very much for the prime sub, man. Welcome. And Captain with the full year. Had fun. Uh, 2018 was fun. Here's to better 2019 for the family and the Nick Nation. Yo, I appreciate it. Much love, man. Bootsy, thank you for the 21 months as well. Appreciate you, sir. Okay, Frisnone, he completed. These are the good ones. Well, Jumbo Gold Pack's only three rares. Never mind. I was going to say that's starting to be some good packs, but... Wonder... This Juventus team wasn't cheap, and I'm also... Um... Oh, no, I thought I was using these guys. No, these guys need to be used for something else, right? Now, I went this route because I know this guy's pack pulled, but I believe he's like 3K. More. Sell for that amount. De Gea got into the real team of the year. I mean, De Gea deserves it. it, it dude, man, you would be nowhere if it wasn't for De Gea's performances over the last calendar year. Nice little mega pack there. I, I did spend like 15k doing that that squad. So, not really the best value in the world. Lazio. Nuremberg defenders are now 8.5k. Nice. You'd love to see it. I have all those dudes done already, so that's the uh, Bundesliga, right? Yeah, Bundesliga. Maybe next epi we do Bundesliga, um, and then and then a few others.
Nick missed my fa last four resubs. Donkey, you just gotta call me on it, dude. Thank you for the year and a half of support, brother. I appreciate you. Sorry, dude. If you, I mean, if you happen to resub while I'm doing an epi recording, you know, you can't be upset with me about it, dude. There's a lot going on, right? The the, the likelihood that I could miss uh, a resub during a recording, or more specifically, and I didn't want to get rid of Carnezis, obviously, he's part of the uh, part of the legends of the club, right? 179 games played right near the start of the game. He was actually fantastic for us in our first runs at foot champs and uh division rivals arc light thank you for the five charlie again appreciate you what are you predicting for city liverpool i don't like doing predictions i hope uh liverpool win i'll be watching it we'll be done this episode recording right as the game starts so i'm excited I'll be watching it with my community and then looking at squads and stuff like that as well because i already missed out a bunch of people's squads <clears throat> he's a kid with the golden feet Azza, thank you for the 31, brother. Appreciate you. My prediction is 2-0 City win tonight. I hope Liverpool win, like, in a crazy entertaining game, like a 4-3 win for Liverpool late. Something nuts like that. I just, just as a spectacle, I want to see that. I don't want to see, like, City blow Liverpool out. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to see Liverpool blow City out. At all. Like, a 6-0 wins and crazy shit like that. I want it, like, a really tight, stressful game. Okay, now I almost got rid of these two, but as you guys know, these guys are part of the club legends now. These two unlocked Santi Cazorla for us, and how incredible was he? I, I, I punked out trying to use this guy in Weekend League, but I just didn't think he'd be able to uh, stand to the stresses of the Weekend League against all the sweat lords of the world, but still, almost got rid of him, and then the chat started freaking out, thank God. Okay, let's see how much you are. Shouldn't be worth much considering the uh okay, the community as idiotic as ever. You could buy golds for 400 coins. Or buy this guy for 1100 Makes sense. I want City to spank them into next season. Wow. Toxic, dude. Toxic, dude. Okay. Udinese. Premium Electrum Player Pack. Very easy. That one was very easy to get done. Specifically, again, my Twitch chat helped me complete that. I was about to buy an eight or 9,000 coin defender uh, before just moving some players around and getting the chem anyways. You're so good at organizing your team. Well, I mean, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment, dude. I've had a few times where... Yeah, that was awkward. Uh, I've had a few times where people say they enjoy like how I run my club and manage the club and stuff. So I appreciate that, man. Thank you means a lot okay so we're up to 52 packs i'd say 90 percent of the packs are good and fun and worthy of saving for team of the year i'd say maybe 10 percent could be opened right now and i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't be too hurt by by opening them up okay um oh, what's gonna be the quickest way to do this please don't tell me there's still like 1200 coins wait dude what they've held their effing value man why these guys aren't even available in marquee matchups anymore oh for god's sakes i could have done this yesterday then i thought i was being a genius by sitting here not doing these Panculo. are you expensive dude yep maybe i'll maybe it's just the center backs though maybe it's just the center backs and then all like the mid what all the midfielders are cheap yeah, I got one of the best red player pack pulls you could get. So freaking happy, man. I mean, it's a little bit insane because I already have a high-rated version of that player in my club, but just means I can use the other version for SBCs. Put them towards uh, an icon SBC or something along those lines. They'll save me, what, like 20k, 30k towards uh, an icon SBC? I don't get the Liverpool hate. They play awesome football and seem a decent bunch of lads. It's just previous years. And I, I would blame a lot of the Liverpool hate on previous squads that they've had. But more importantly, they're, uh, a lot of their fans. Like, I know a lot of Liverpool fans that are awesome. You know, totally chill dudes. Very balanced fans. You know, I know a lot of YouTubers that are fans of Liverpool and aren't the overbearing 
psychomaniacs that I know locally, but the local guys that I know that are Liverpool fans, and I've said this a lot, so I'm not going to just go into this whole topic again, but th the local guys that I know that are Liverpool fans, I've known them for like since I was in high school, and they're the most overbearing, horrifying football fans I've ever seen, man. You know, the usual. Every year is their year. Every year, Liverpool are the best. They're going to win everything. And then when they don't, it's the next year. And, you know, I, uh, Kind of like lead fa Leeds fans in promotion, I guess, but. Most of the EPL fan, uh, clubs fans are the same. I don't know. I don't, I don't see that. I, I, I don't, I don't see that from many other, many other fan bases, man. I mean, Arsenal fans can be a little bit, a little bit rough around the edges at times as well for, for very similar reasons, right? <clears throat> Can't wait for Van Dyke to move to Barca or Madrid. Does he need to? I mean, I guess if the paycheck is there, sure, that's always a topic of discussion. But does he need to? Small, rare gold player pack. All right. Now, okay, maybe that, maybe, maybe these Atalanta players are are, are expensive because it's a small, rare gold pack. Five k, seven point five k, terrible. Like, what do you call these? Twelve point five k packs? Not even ten k packs. But then from here, it starts getting good. All right. Bologna. God bless it. This is the most efficient way I've found to do this, by the way. It, oh, whoops. If you guys have found a more efficient way to get these done through uh, consumables, please let me know. I would love you forever. <laughs> I would love you to tell me what's the best way to do it. I mean, maybe just taking a snapshot and then just buying every single player. But I, I basically search on the market real quick like that to get him saved. So I don't even have to type in his name. Helander's already there. And then, um, no, they have come down in price. Nice. And this, these guys were all 1,200, 1,300 coins. So it was worth, it was worth waiting. Saved about half the price of the SBC instead of doing these yesterday. All right. Four more players than we have. Screen ER. So the question is, do we do the marquee matchups first or a cheeky little squad builder? We also got to get a draft done again, right? I want to do another draft today. We're going to do another. We do a draft every episode during the week. I, don't, I have no idea what just happened. Zero clue what just happened. Nick needs to watch Arsenal Fan TV versus United Stand soccer game. It got heated. Dude, I could care less. I, I, there's, honestly, there's a very few things I care less about than stuff like that, man. Um, I, I like when someone asked about, like, my opinions on the JJ and Logan beef, bro. Like, dear God, I can't. I just have zero interest in that stuff. Okay. Fat fingered that purchase. Canadian Sniper is... N oh, whatever. 800 coins is fine. How do I see the pack he got? I always forget. Well, you can check the YouTube video. It'll be out very soon. If you're watching the YouTube video right now, obviously, then you can just you just rewind. Um, but on stream, you can check the past broadcast as well, man. It's there. I, I mean, obviously, I'd rather... If you guys missed it, I'd rather you wait for the video, but... That's just me hoping to get a few more views on the YouTube on the YouTube channel. Get more of you guys over there. Great sequence of League SBC polls recently. Higuain, KDB, 90 Stoikov. From doing the League SBCs. Wow, Jerry. So you're going through them. You don't even care about Team of the Year. You're just ripping them open as you go. Fair play, bro. I respect it. I respect it. I mean, that that is, that that is the argument as well that people have where they're confused with me saving all these packs because I say this all the time as well. If your pack luck is in, your pack luck is in. If you open a 5K gold pack now, if you're lucky, you could get an inform out of it or an icon, who knows, right? Whereas if you save it for team of the year, you might, your luck might not be in then and you get nothing. Whereas, okay, maybe your luck is in during team of the year and you get a team of the year out of it. It's just luck, man. It's just luck at the end of the day. All right. The the Serie A SBC is done. There we go. 
Oh my god, I'm happy about that, man. Player picks. Now, I'm gonna have a look at, um... Holy shit! Jason, oh, holy shit indeed. Jason, thank you for the 55, man. Getting closer and closer to the new sub badge. Yo, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, there's no way I find use for this for this Eden Zeko, right? Does anybody have any thoughts about this? Like, is there any re... I mean, not that the finishing is fantastic. I can't even hate on that. But can anyone find a reason as to why I should hold on to this? 37 balance! Are you kidding me? 60 agility! I mean, sure, I wouldn't mind putting together a Bosnian team of some sort. Yeah, I think Bosnia's got an incredible national team, footballing-wise. But other than that, other than one weekend league run, potentially with a Bosnian team, that's the only time I would use this card. Whereas Skriniar is legitimately someone that sh I should... I don't know if I'll put together a Slovakian team, but maybe an inter-team is definitely something I could do, first of all. Second of all, I think this card is good enough where you could consider putting him into a... You know, Fud Champs team. Balance and agility are awful, but reactions, composure, fantastic. Uh, defensively incredible, in fact. 78 stamina, 79 jumping isn't great, so I think you probably want to give this guy a anchor. Again, you could make an argument towards a Guardian to boost up the balance and agility, but I just he doesn't have good balance and agility, period. 31 long shots, though, is pretty rough, hey? 32 free kick accuracy. Ooh, that's... Ooh, 36 curve. Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Skriniar. You gotta. You gotta. I wanna build a squad around him anyway, so we're gonna have to do it. We are going to have to do it. So the dream team is gonna... Is gonna come unraveled for a little bit. Isn't it? Oh, I haven't even claimed my Division Rivals rewards. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, the dream team's gonna come apart. Oh, that means I'm not going to use Hyung Min. Oh, I've been I've been in love with using Hyung Min Son. Huh? Wait. That. Do that. I don't think these guys are getting into the setup. I don't think. Virgil's getting into the setup either. It's he speaking of which there he is Spoiler alert dudes. Does he start out as a left winger special? No nope. left mid Should have a quick review actually of what uh, what this guy did for us 104 games see this is why I didn't like him man. 104 games 36 goals 39 assists. That's not good enough, man. He's always been a forward playing player too. Hardly ever a super sub, all starting games. It's the high, high work rates that made me not like his card too much. And unfortunately, this guy has a dynamic image and his new card doesn't, dude. Why? Why did they not give him a dynamic image? Okay. So. What I'm think, ooh, yo, easy, easy. Now, unfortunately, I won't be using Patrick Van Anhold, but hell of a little squad builder coming up. So I wanted to use Scriniar, right? I want him in the setup. Four star weak foot as well. So that's GG's already. I'm take him out. For now, I'm going to take Fernandinho out. Take Axel Witzel out. I'm going to take uh, Vormer out. Okay. Now. I wanted to fit in Skriniar and Felipe Anderson, which gets... This is why I was saying this is going to be easy. Boom. That's a nice little link right there. Okay. Now, is there a way for me to get... Is there a way for me to get that Herrera in the team? Is there any way for me to do that?
Left cam, right cam. Why? So I need a striker. I don't know. I don't want to use Chicha, dude. He's so awful. Chicha's so terrible, man. Every time you guys convince me to use this Chicharito, I hate myself for it, dude. I just, I cannot, I can't do anything with this card. Do I give Chicha another chance? So could do that, that. I guess we could put um what's his face here too? Not it's not awful. We're gonna have to do some position changes, which isn't a you know, it's not a big deal. So striker. Striker, left DM. Could go get the Keen. Right? So we could do that. Makes things easier for sure. Savage should be off of Chem. Yeah, I could do Raja. Could do. Ooh, could do Raja. Raja would be like a semi original card. I, I don't think it'd be anywhere near as good as uh, as Keen, but could do Raja. I haven't used Raja in a long time. That's a good call. That's a good call. That would be everybody on Chem so far. Okay, and then in goal. I mean, that's a no brainer. What a team, man. What a team. What a team. What about that? What about that? Well, we, we would go to 4-2-3-1 in game. I need to figure out a way to get him to 7, though. Don't believe I have anything useful. Um... I don't think I don't think I have anything useful. Use Lozano at right back. So we could do that and then I, I mean De Bruyne is that good where even using him on 8 chem is fine 
But why Chicha? To, to fit him in. Right? So we, we could do that. It's a lot of position changes. What do you guys think? Nah? Both DMs are high, high work rates? Well, uh, I'll have... Uh, I'll have Herrera on stay back. So we'll switch to a 4-2-3-1 in game, right? Two DMs there. Striker. Uh, wide left. Wide right. Central cam. Chicha at striker is going to be a bit of a problem, in my opinion. Three-star weak foot is so shit. So shit. That. I mean, I don't. That's an original team. This is not going to get me elite, but who cares? We're playing to gold three anyways. Red Jesus, but where where am I putting Red Jesus, dudes? In for Chicha? I mean, then he's off of Chem as well, and Jesus is off of Chem. A semi-original team. I, I, I mean, I, I was hoping to find a way to maybe not have to worry too much about position changes for these two. Dropping Chicha to Cam and then this guy up to Striker is going to not be the cheapest endeavor. Right? Thinking of putting a Marksman on Chicha as well instead of the Deadeye. Seeing if I like him more like that. Zeus striker and KDB cam, and then what? And then what, brother? Oh, I mean, I was thinking of going of going this this route, right? Instead of having Keen, just for this weekend testing this this setup out. And hilariously, I could actually go one step more you know, quote-unquote original and do this, this, do... Because, I, I mean, I'm not taking things too, too seriously, right? And then do this. Other than De Bruyne, everybody's on chem. Just something a bit different, you know? Changing, changing it up. Scream Caceres, why not? He's an invested card. Keep Rio. This card is so awful. I hate him so much. Such a bad card. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, it's like a weird ass team. I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's a Serie A Prem team with Herrera thrown in there. May as well use Rio. I mean, the thing is, too, is if this team is awful, just I could just go back to my meta squad. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nothing's gonna be too too effective. Just looking for ways to drop Chicha. The problem is, is I, I mean, I can easily drop Chicha, right? I easily drop Chicha. Um, but that would mean I drop Herrera as well. I really, I really wanted to try this card out. Maybe Herrera and Keen would be better. Maybe that would be better. Do, 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 do. 
Savage in. That's kind of boring though, isn't it? Do I have Benatia instead of Chiellini? Yeah, but he's going to be gone very soon. I don't want to build a team with a player that's going to get rinsed uh, through the Keen SBC. Mertens in for Chicha. All right. Mertens in for Chicha. I mean, again, if Chicharito's horseshit by halftime, Young Minson can come on, right? So I've got Young Minson as a super sub at striker for halftime. Uh, same thing if if Raja Nangalan and Herrera are too attacking minded or whatever. We've got Gila Vogi. If I get super pissed off again with this this version of Anderson, I've got Marco Royce. I've got I've got the subs to cover it. I think I'm gonna play with this team. I think I'm gonna play with this team this weekend league. Unless I unless unless something changes my mind. I mean I might I might put Keen here for Raja Nangalan. And I might put Rio here for Chiellini. But outside of that, I kind of like the setup. You know, got the God at Cam in De Bruyne. Uh, wide left in Gianfranco Zola plays really well there. Uh, Chicharito's a worry at striker, but that's okay. Hernandez is a worry at left Cam, but also that's okay. And then we've got two DMs. I think the biggest concerns here are going to be, uh, well, potentially every part of this fucking team other than De Bruyne. <laughs> that's the funny thing is I could hate this squad. This back line, I don't think is going to be anywhere near as good as Rio and Virgil van Dijk. The DM setup is going to be nowhere near as good as Milinkovic, Savic, and Keane. The striker is nowhere near as good as Young Um, You know, th this guy at left or right cam is going to be nowhere near as good as Zola or Ben Yedder. So, yeah, we've got, we've definitely have some holes in this, in this squad. For sure. But, hey changes it up man so i'm not just sitting there using the same players every effing weekend league making it boring as hell for all of you guys right let's uh let's claim these rewards as well so we got another low oh lone icon oh my wait no it's gonna be all the way at the end isn't it yo i was gonna open that man cool well we got a lone icon pack that i'm gonna forget about by team of the year of course cool nice one ea Got a shadow. I don't know why there's a limit to you only being able to see 30. When on the web app, you can see all of them. Yeah, I'm not going to go on the web app, dude. Don't care. Don't care enough. All right, so we got that one complete. Let's uh, let's claim our division rivals. Got to go with the two 50k packs for team of the year and the two uh, rare 25ks. Heck yeah, dude. Rank three. Can't imagine this week we're going to do much better than rank three, but maybe, maybe just maybe. Okay. And then should we do uh should we get a draft sorted as well? Hell yeah, dude. We're balling dudes. We're balling. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go get another draft sorted. Come on, baby. So first things first, we want to get ourselves a nice formation. Formation is key for sure. Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I'm thinking either 4321 or 442 flat. I think I'm gonna try 442 flat. That could be a strong, strong setup. I, I haven't used 442 flat too often, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 442. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go Eden Hazard. I don't think I've used Eden Hazard very much this year. Draft or otherwise. Got a five-star weak-footed young Min. This is the best. This is one of the best strikers in the game, in my opinion. I wish. Can I get Ben Yedder again? Can I get Ben Yedder again, please? I would love that to be my strike force. No? Okay. Um, I think Lewandowski could be pretty sweet. Go Lewandowski? Go hey, Lewandowski. Back. He's got a shadow chem style, so he'd be great as a hey. center back. So I got Balak and after I played four games, I won each with a minimum of four goals in each. Thanks for the advice from yesterday, bro. I am having fun with my team again and thank you and chat for doing what you do. Yo, love much you love, Unitas. Much love, man. I, I mean, dude, there's no, there's no, there's no question. There's no question. Kem might not be great in this team, but I, we've got a good, good setup of strong players. Okay, so we could go Lalana. 
We go Campbell for the link to Lewandowski. Maybe I just go Lalana. And we use Lewandowski as a super sub. Oh my god, these are. <laughs> Dude, this is the Welsh Pirlo, right? Holy, how times have changed. Boy, this is awful. I guess I'll go Yuri Tillmans? Shadow as well? Really, the only option. Come on, give us a Lala. Again, Zanetti. I gotta go Zanetti. You just gotta. I mean, Walker, Carvajal, Aurier, all could be good arguments, but a shadow on Zanetti is nuts. Yeah, look at that, dude. Oh my god, 90, 90 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. That's insane. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. I really want to try out this Koulibaly card. Uh, the last... Oh my god, I didn't even see Varane. I didn't... I did not even see Varane. I have not used Varane this year. I've not used Varane this year. Not kidding. Three incredible center backs. Do I just go for a run for the sake of it? Yeah, let's go for a run for the sake of it. Hell yeah, man. Give me that. Give me that umtiti. I have to go Mathieu. Dude, I know PK also links, but you gotta go Mathieu. This card actually looks really good. Also left-footed. I know he's got high medium work rates, but that's a nice looking card. I want to try this card out, man. Mathieu. Matthew. Mathieu. I'm going with him. I'm going with him, man. We're making a weird-ass team, dudes. Oh, God. Maybe... Maybe... Oh, wow. This is a really nice... It's a really nice draft in terms of player options. Okay, probably should have went PK. That's fine. Shut your face. Good Frenchman. I guess I go Digne. Yeah, Digne for the link to Hazard. Catalyst as well. Okay, I'm going to go Digne for the link to Hazard. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, we need, like, uh, like a Kante would be incredible here. Kante right there would be fantastic. Although, I think he's on aid chem anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Wait, that's a Hunter. Dear God, I thought it was a Catalyst. Ha 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 ha! Get the goalkeeper out of the way. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just pick Sommer. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We need a better striker, better midfielders. Otherwise, the team's great. Okay. Holy God! I know it's not Conte, but an informed Pogba. Bro, I have been getting the most outrageous, the most outrageous pulls during these drafts. That is the perfect card I need for this team. Royce would be sick. Dries Mertens would be sick as well, but I gotta go Paul Pogba, man. I, again, I don't think I've used Paul Pogba this year. Um... So I, I might do something. I might, like, sway it, depending on what we get for, for strikers. For our other striker, if you will. Do I just go Godin and, and give up on Mathieu? I, I have to. I have to. I just go Godin. He'll get the same chem, and he's an even better card. With a shadow. Do I just go... Dude, what are these options? I know P P PK can fuck off. Um, I gotta go Godin. I know I lose a bit of chem right now, but I think we'll gain it. Oh. Okay. Alright, not terrible, not terrible. Hey, man. If I went with... Now, Diara, I know, gives the link. Do I just go Diara for the link? I was thinking going with, like, Salah or Mane for the actual super sub. Do I just go Diara for the link? Diara's not a bad card, either. Really not a bad card. Larry said he also has a Hunter. All right, I'll go Diara. Um, okay, 
we'll do that. Do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. He's a kid with a golden feet. Now, I could also do this just to get Young Min Son on cam, right? If I don't get a better striker, I could do that and then bring on Lewandowski or whatever. An idea? None of that helps me, so I'll go with under. Oh, you guys mean do this? Like bring Mathieu back in? <clears throat> doesn't really doesn't really help very much. Would you use Godin in the midfield? 70 dribbling, 65. Or would you use Mathieu in the midfield? Is that even a thing? No. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'm gonna, I'll piss around with the team a little bit. I think it'd be silly to take Godin out of the squad. Holy Jesus. Okay. I think I bring I think I I I think I'm going Sane. I, I I'm tempted to use him up front as well. Uh, just super sub him in or just or use him outright. What does he get as a, just being up top there off of Kem? Yeah, better than five? Wait, what? No, two Kem. So he'll be better as a sub. Bring him on in that exact position. Or bring on Mbappe, like put him at right mid and put Mbappe up front. Could do that too. Could do that too. Okay, I like I like I like the uh the Sane. Raheem Sterling as well. Dude, these options are nutty. Oh, Raheem Sterling. help anybody come on one more big mid okay Goretzka is a great midfielder Goretzka and Pogba through the midfield would be fantastic might even be able to squeak Lewandowski on no mm, no I think that drops the chem too much I think I'm gonna go Goretzka not nah, dude I'm not going Nani I have like a hundred attacking players yeah, that gives me the option to maybe use Lewandowski. I'd love to try out Lewandowski. Again, another player I haven't used this year at all. Big Dick Dyer. Lucas. Not much here. Idrissa, Idrissa Gay is a really good card too. That's a catalyst, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a catalyst. The lightning bolt. <clears throat> we'll just go Big Dick Dyer for the memes. Not really much there that I, I would want to use. Not much here I would want to use either, unfortunately. Benelli's got a good beard. That's something. Marquee matchups? Oh, you know what? I'll do marquee matchups. Oh, damn. I'm going to go... I mean, Langlet, I guess, would be the even better option. But I'm not... Langlet's not going to start, so I'm going to go with the Vancouver guy. Boston. Okay. Weird ass squad. Now I want to see if I can do something here. How much? Hmm. I see that hurts Pogba's chem as well. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Bring on. Let's bring on. Let's actually have Big Dick Dyer up there. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, um, so I think instantly I bring on, what? Should we try out Lewandowski? Just Lewandowski and Son? Up front together? And I could go... This does not hurt the chem, I believe. I think that's better, dudes. I think that's better. Doesn't hurt the chem, and I think that's a better starting starting lineup. Really. 
So Goretzka, maybe we bring on at halftime or if DR is particularly bad. And then I need to decide whether I bring on Lewandowski or Sané. Do we go pace or do we go with like proper finishing up front? I think that's a pretty good team. If I get a lucky with a manager, I don't even know what the hell manager I would want. Like, a f wow, this is the, yeah, I, I, we're not going to get a hundred cam, unfortunately. Getting this guy up there is just not going to, uh, not going to help the situation. It's too bad. Son can be the fast striker, play off of him. True, true. True, true. And then end game, if I need the pace, I can take off Lewandowski again and bring on another another attacker. Okay. Perfect. So high to low, low to high. Beautiful. All right, let's get a manager here. See what we can get. I like the team. It's nowhere near as good as the team we did. Lot we we put together last episode. Oh, this is not great. Other than maybe him. It's only so that gives us plus one, right? Doesn't help us out. Ah, that gets Godin on Chem. That's pretty good. So that gets Godin to eight Chem. Help anybody. Does, does, dire doesn't matter. I, I guess we go with that one, right? Godin being on more chem is way more important. I guess that helps Diara out, but Diara is very likely to be subbed. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this manager. I'm gonna go with that manager. All right. Well, I think we're gonna end off the episode there my dudes thank you so much for watching man hey the red player pick pack luck was fantastic no complaints there did a whole bunch of stuff and again these episodes are us grinding and working towards the ultimate goal of having an amazing team of the week week on the poor man road to glory so i appreciate you guys' support next episode i'll have the marquee matchups completed and we'll just we'll just rip through them really quick for you guys so i appreciate you all and as always we'll catch you on the flip side